Hi, welcome back to everyone. So in this video, I'll show you how to create an AWS EC2 multi-site instance. So I have already created a video, but there are some changes. So I'm just creating a video again. So I'll just select your location wherever you wanted your data server to be, and then just click on launch instance. Then search for WordPress multi-site, which you can get it under AWS Marketplace. So go with uh, Bitnami and Automatic. Just click on select. Then you will be shown the list of instances which is supported to that particular uh, application. So depending on your requirement, you can go with any of these instances. Just click on continue. So for time being, I'll be going with a free instance, free tier. Again, I'll show you how to change it from your free tier to any other instances in a different video. So for free tier, we'll be getting one virtual CPUs and one GB of RAM and your basic EBS instance uh, space. So just leave this as it is. Don't make any changes. Then we go to your storage. So you can, uh, the maximum amount of storage that you can use is a 30 GB one for under free instance so for whatever uh, space you use more than 30 gb that you will be get built for then go for tags you can add your multiple tags if you have a multiple instances and you want to have any variations between them then go for a security group so under security group everything should be anywhere until and unless you have a specific requirements that your website must be hosted, uh, accessed from some particular IP or some particular places or from one IP to some uh, range of IPs. After that, just click on review and launch. Click on launch. And then just select your new IP or select an already uh, IP that you are having, sorry, already keypad that you are having. Okay, so I'll just create a new one. Since I'm creating it in the Mumbai server, I'll just have the names uh, like that. Shared with the same name. Then click on launch. Wait till your instance gets created. So it will take some two to three minutes. So your instance get uh, created. So when we visit, you say this is our new instance that we created recently. So our instance state should be active and the status check should be 2 by 2 so we need to wait till these two are uh, done so, so it will take some 0 to 15 to 20 minutes so if you see here you see our instance state is in running and status check is initialized so we need to wait till our status check gets initialized. So just reload for uh, every two minutes to check whether it is done or not. So it is still under the uh, status check only. So this will be your public IP. Whenever you visit this IP after your instance is ready, you can get your output, how your website looks, initial website looks.
so we we'll need for some more time So if we see here, we will see we got 2 by 2 check pass, <coughs> which means our instance is ready. So just go here and then reload, wait till it gets active, yeah, you see. The reason why we are getting this is because it thinks that it's not a secure connection and all. So for this, we will be attaching our domain. So how are we going to attach our domain? I will just explain you in the same video in just two to three minutes. So this is how your uh, website looks. So now just click on connect, go to SSH, copy this and just go to your browser sorry window where you have uh, downloaded the key file paste it so if you are trying it directly like this then you will be getting an error here when you type yes you see you got an error saying that permission denied the reason is here the user is not admin root user is bitnami you see now you are able to log in so whenever we are trying to uh, connect to our instances, WordPress instance, the user should be Bitnami. By default, we will be under our user folder. So we will be go, going back. So clear it. So this is the folder structure that we have with us. So now we need to uh, search for a particular domain. And we need to give it. So for that, you yes, see, I'll uh, show you how to do it. So here under services, go to S, uh, route 53. Under route 53, you can uh, use already initialized. Uh, domains or you can create a new hosted zones So here under hosted zones, I'm just uh, selecting the domain which I'm already having. So here what I need to do is, I need to go to an EC2 instance. Or I can directly just copy this public IP here and I need to change the IP. So just select this, click on edit and just change your IP and see that you are just typing the IP. Apart from that, uh, we should not be having any text for this. And I'll just delete the already pre existing one record. So now what I'm saying is whenever someone is visiting seekme.in, it should be redirected to this IP. And from here, we will be saying it that whoever is accessing it, he should be accessing it from here.
So now we need to just go to the folder OPT. Under this, we have a folder called Bitnami. So here we are looking for one second. So these are the for this is the folder structure and the folder path. And this is the code. Let me show, show you the folder first. Hmm. So if you see here, you got an uh, folder application called configure app domain. So it is a file. So what we'll do is we do sudo configure app underscore domain hyphen hyphen so this is a code and why do we use sudo is so that we get your root access and enter your domain name so this is my domain name just click on enter See, he says the command is not found. So when you get these kind of errors, you need to do this. So now we have configured our domain. So it takes some time. So wait till you get a notification. You see, now it has been done. So what you will do is. Just visit your uh, domain and then just click on that. So you see here, just go here and then instead of this, just type cme.in. Yes, now we can act, uh, use it or uh, log in directly using our primary domain. So now if you see, you see here it is showing as not secure. So for that we need to add an SSL to this website or to this particular domain. So that again we can do it in the same way. Just go back. Let me clear that. So here if you see. Yeah, again go back. So under OPT you can uh, find a file called C and create. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, just go for OT OPT. Under OPT, you have something called Vietnami. Yeah, here if you can see, you see, you have BNCRED tool option available here. So we need to just run that. So press enter to continue. So here we need to enter the domain list. And one more main criteria to remember here is whenever you are adding one more domain to your multi-site and whenever you are trying to access this HTTPS, you need to add the additional both the IPs, the primary IP and then additional uh, sorry, primary domain and then the additional domain also. So here what I'll do is I'll say enter my domain with both with www and without www when i enter it's uh, it will ask me for uh, permissions just agree for those permissions it is nothing but it will stop the server and then it will activate the ssl and then it will restart your server so give your any uh, email address that you want 
this is an agreement so it will take some time So once it is done, you will get a notification saying that it is done. You should just click on enter. <coughs> so now we have just created it. So just go back to your domain. Here, just reload it. You see, you got a lock option. So now, when you try to access your admin panel, you require some user uh, credentials. So for that, just go to your EC2 instance. Under the EC2 instances, select the instance that you have launched recently. Click on actions, go for monitor and troubleshoot click on get system log so here so this is your user password so just type in again you can change it whenever you need it just click on login so this is your basic dashboard and from here you can create your any number of sites and all so how to create an another additional site and all i'll uh, explain you later in the next coming videos so this is how you will create an uh, instance and activate your primary domain and also activate the ssl so whenever your ssl gets uh, expired you can do the same process so I'm just uh, showing this video screen again so that if you guys were not able to see what was the text I entered. So for the start, this is the uh, yeah. So this is the line that I used to sync the domain. So if you see, you see, I'll be just adding these uh, lines also in the comments sorry in the description so you can get it from there so after you configure the domain so you can find that under opt and bitnami under opt you will get a bitnami folder and then to access your uh, https or you can act to activate your ssl you need to use this code so without using any sudo if you try to run this code it won't keep uh, run it will throw you an error so please do subscribe and uh, leave some comments if you have any doubts or if you wanted any other topics to be covered under aws thanks bye